Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. The second part in the first chapter of our 11th physics is measurement. We know measurement plays an important role in our day to day life. It is the basis of all sort of scientific studies and experimentation. So what is the measurement? We are going to learn about the that in this video. Measurement is the comparison of a physical quantity with its standard unit. So in simple words, measurement is nothing but an act of comparison. Suppose I draw a line here. If I raise a question within the line drawn here is a short or long. Then many of you may find it difficult to answer the question. We cannot say whether the line drawn here is a short or long line. Unless we do not compare this with another line. So if I draw a line beside this. Now, the yellow line is a long line compared to this white line. Now, suppose I increase the length of this white line. Now, the yellow line is a short line compared to, to this uh, white line. Like this, any physical quantity can be measured by comparing it with a standard unit. We call this the act as measurement. Now, what is this physical quantity? Let me tell that to you. Here, when I say physical quantity, physical quantity. It refers to any quantity which can be measured. If, can, if you can able to measure a quantity, then we call that quantity as physical quantity. We classify the physical quantities into two. One has fundamental quantity, Another one is a derived quantity types. One is fundamental quantity. Another one is derived quantity. Quantities that cannot be expressed in terms of other quantities are known as fundamental quantities. Like we have length, mass, time, temperature, amount of substance, luminous intensity, and electric current. These are all the examples of fundamental quantities. We cannot uh, measure uh, length in kilogram. In a similar way, we cannot measure mass in meter. Such quantities which cannot be expressed in terms of other quantities are called as fundamental quantities. Here, next thing we have is derived quantity. Quantities that can be measured in terms of fundamental quantities are known as derived quantities. Like we have area. If you multiply length of an object with breadth, you get area. So here, length is measured in meter. Length is actually uh, a fundamental quality. From that we get area. Then we have force, energy, weight. These are all examples of derived quantities. So in simple words, quantities that can be expressed in terms of or that can be measured in terms of fundamental quantities are called as derived quantities. Then the uh, we have one thing called as unit. 
To measure a quality, we always compare it with a reference standard. We call such reference standard as unit. We classify unit into two as fundamental unit and derived units. Fundamental qualities are expressed in fundamental unit. Our units used to measure fundamental quantities are called as fundamental unit. And uh, units used to measure derived quantities are called as derived unit. Remember this. Then uh, system of uh, units. Different types of different types of measurement system. A complete set of uh, units used to measure all kinds of fundamental and derived quantities is known as system of units. There are different types of measurement systems are used. We will discuss them one by one. Like we have a FPS system. FPS system. Then CGS system. Third we have MKS system and uh, fourth one is MKSA or SI system. So let me tell you one by one what these things stand for. Here FPS stands for foot, pound and second system. Here uh, in this system, we use a foot to measure the length and the pound is used as the unit for the measurement of mass and the second is used to measure time. Then in CG system, it stands for centimeter, gram and the second. Here yeah, centimeter is used to measure the length and gram is used to measure the mass and second is used to measure the time. Third we have MKS system. MKS stands for meter, kilogram and a second. Here M stands for meter, K stands for kilogram and S stands for second. Here meter is used to measure the length and kilogram is used to measure the mass and second is used to measure the time. So the modified form of MKS system is nothing but MKS A system, which is otherwise known as SI system. It is the most renowned and widely used system. This system is used by engineers and scientists throughout the world for the measurement. Here, M stands for meter, K stands for kilogram, S stands for second. Then A stands for ampere, which is the unit of measurement of current. Uh, and what is the expansion of SI? Here SI stands for Standard International System. Uh, it is otherwise known as International Standard System of Measurement. Um, now, let me elaborate uh, something about the uh, fundamental quantities. 
that fundamental quantities. There are seven fundamental quantities are there. I write them one by one. List length, second, mass, then time, then we have temperature, then fifth one. Electric current, sixth one, luminous intensity, and uh, seventh one is amount of substance, amount of substance. C E amount of substance. Now, uh, let me tell you about these things one by one. Here, length is something but the distance between two points. It is measured in meter, and the mass is the quality of matter present in a body. It is measured in kilogram. Here, length is measured in meter, and the mass is measured in kilogram. Time. Time is nothing but the interval between two events. Uh, the events can be the raising of sun or setting of sun. The interval between these two events is taken as time. Uh, it can be anything. It is measured in second. Then temperature. This we have studied in lower class. Temperature is nothing but the measure of hotness or coldness of a body. Whether an object is hot or cold can be uh, uh, understood by measuring its uh, temperature. So, I repeat, the measure of hotness or coldness of a body is known as temperature. It is measured in Kelvin. There are three units of measurement of temperature. Temperature is measured in uh, Celsius, then it is measured in Fahrenheit, it is also measured in Kelvin. But uh, the SI unit of measurement of temperature is Kelvin, which is also known as absolute scale of measurement of the temperature. It means it do not have negative value in it. So it is known as absolute scale. The electric current. Electric current is represented by letter I. It is measured in ampere. Electric current is measured in ampere. What is uh, electric current? Electric current is the number of uh, or the amount of electric charge flowing through a given conductor for a given time. I repeat, the number of uh, charges flowing through a conductor in a given time is referred as electric current. Then luminous intensity. It deals with light. How much light do a source give out? Is referred as luminous intensity. Then amount of substance. Amount of substance is measured in mole whereas luminous intensity intensity is measured in candela candela the word candela has come from candle uh, it is uh, said that one candela is the amount of light given out by a single candle and here one mole is the entity that 12 gram of carbon 12 have. I repeat, the number of entities that are present in 12 gram of carbon 12 
is referred as one mole of a substance. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.